Welcome back everybody to the channel. Um, as you can tell, I am tired. Um, but I didn't do day 22. So that's like the second time I haven't done like a day. You know, it's all good. Um, Cause I'm just gonna upload it now, just for yesterday. Um, talk about the games and UFC 270 that I did watch. Um, this is why I figured about the Titans. If you contain Derrick Henry, which they really stopped him for most part, his longest run was nine yards. Um, if you contain him like that and make Tannehill try to beat you, Titans are not going to win most of the time. That happened today, Cincinnati. Didn't really look good, uh, loud, I don't know how, they allowed like nine sacks, and they, they still won. <laughs> loud nine sacks, and my problem with that is, Kansas City, Buffalo, they're gonna have pass rushers, just like the Titans, maybe even better, that's, going to destroy that offensive line if it if it don't start blocking um so i'm just saying um packers and 49ers did we see the last game of aaron Rodgers in green bay I will tell you, I do believe we did see the last game. Now, I might, uh, that was irritating me. I might be wrong, but I think, I know this sounds strange, but don't put it past him to go to the 49ers. I know he lost to him, but that's where, you know, that's where he's from. So I'm sure he wants to retire somewhere like that or just somewhere that has good weather and not, <clears throat> excuse me, not in the cold. Um, the Packers' offensive play calling after they scored on that, uh, that Dylan touchdown was terrible. Absolutely terrible. Uh, so... Special teams, I'm surprised the special teams coach has not even been fired yet before all this playoffs or anything because he's been terrible this season and it showed today with a blocked punt that basically changed the game around for the 49ers easily. So, San Fran wins, moves on to the NFC Championship game. And they will meet either my Buccaneers or the Rams. And we will see about that tomorrow. Let's hope for the best. At least especially for me and Bucks win. Now let's talk about UFC 270. Um, I'm going to talk about this quickly because I am tired as you can tell. I already said it this second time I'm saying it. But you can tell with my eyes. Um... Let me apologize if I don't know the first two or three fights of the main card. Um, the people's names, I apologize. But they were actually fun fights, but they were quick. You know, quick, quick. But they were fun fights. So let's get to the cold main events. I apologize, but... Um, I'm just going to call him DF because I don't know how to say his name. And I don't care how many times I hear it. I just, I'll co completely forget. And then we've got the first uh, Mexican champion in Brandon Mor uh, Mor Marino. Um, this fight could have went either way. We got a new champion here. Um, I thought he was going to win. Uh... But, I don't know. I mean, all three judges had him 
one round uh, one round over Brandon. So I don't know, but it looks like they're going to fight a fourth time. But I would think they would have to wait and not do it again. But who knows? They've already done it three straight fights. They might just make it a fourth. I have no idea. And that's that stupid, stupid um, vacuum that we got. So let's go to the main event. Uh, again, and uh, Francis, and I really don't know the names, you know, good, or can't, I can't say the names good, so I apologize, but Francis did something that not a lot of people thought he was going to do, and that was, after the first two rounds, he basically said, hey, let me take him down put my weight on him and basically make him tired like that. And that's what Francis Ngaiu, uh did. And uh, he won this fight mostly because that what was impressive was on round five, uh, when he took him down, um, Gain uh, reversed it, tried to get a heel hook to finish him. And Francis looked, he was on his back and he flipped like, kicked it like kicked him off and like took over and was on top of him and everything and just flipped it like that and that's something that we would not have seen you know in the last few years and i'm just telling you i don't know how much longer he's gonna fight but if he can get his uh wrestling down even more with his striking not a lot of people gonna beat him and that was the dude's first loss too um so it was i don't know it was man i ain't gonna lie to you it was i know it was bad like he feels down and out but man if you never experience a loss, like how, you know, especially in UFC, how, you ain't going to know how to react. At least he did it young in his young career of fighting. I mean, he's only been in the UFC, what, three years? A lot of people got to wait a long time to get title shots. Like a very longer than that. So it was a very good uh, UFC pay-per-view and everything. And... The games today were pretty good as well. Um, tomorrow, Rams, Bucks, then Chiefs, and Bills. So I can't wait for it. Hope you guys enjoy this upload. And uh, I'm going to play a few Rocket Leagues and go to bed. Peace out.